don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today is a holiday here in Ghana and by Leverkusen, we thank them for recognizing that holiday here. They said happy Nkrumah Day. It's Kwame Nkrumah's birthday and it's a holiday here in Ghana. As usual, I'm going to talk to you about the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. So over the weekend, a lot of amazing fiction and it was Chelsea who took on Liverpool. Liverpool have a perfect record in the Premier League. They have not lost a single game. They continue that fine form with a 2-1 win over Chelsea. Manchester United will continue as well as that of Tottenham Hotspur. They both lost over the weekend and the table is looking pretty interesting in the English Premier League. So enough about that. Today is about the performance of Ghanaian players abroad. I'm going to start off with the English Premier League as usual. Leicester City took on Spurs and they beat them 2-1. Daniel Amate is still out injured since last year November. Wonder when he will be back for them. His team won 2-1 in the end. Newcastle took on Brighton and Christy Achu played the full 90 minutes of this encounter. The game ended in a 0-0 draw. Bristol City took on Swansea City. Andrea Yu again had full 90 minutes to help his team get the win but unfortunately it wasn't to be they drew 0-0 on this occasion Swansea played with one man down they had a red card in this game Nottingham Forest took on Barnsley and Albert Aduma was a 60th minute substitute in this game for Nottingham Forest Reading took on Blackburn Rovers and Andy Adam played a full 90 minutes as his team lost 2-1 to Blackburn Rovers it AFC Wimbledon took on Bristol Rovers. Quisiapia was an unused substitute in this team. Quisiapia, who has been called to the Black Stars before, he was called for the friendlies earlier this year in March, and unfortunately, his team lost 3 1. He was an unused substitute. Crystal Palace took on Wolves in what was a pulsating encounter. It ended in a 1 1 draw. Wolves with a 95th minute equalizer from Jota. Jordan Ayu played 69 minutes of this encounter. Jeffrey Schlopp played 90 minutes. I move to Spain right now and Villarreal took on Real Valladolid. Mohamed Salis who played 90 minutes for Real Valladolid. Atletico Madrid took on Celta Vigo. Thomas Pate who suffered an injury in midweek in the Champions League was able to make a 60th minute substitute appearance for Atletico Madrid. The game ended 0-0. Joseph Edu played 90 minutes for Celta Vigo as well. Real Zaragoza took on CD Lugo and Jamina. Rafael Jamina, who is alone from Levante, played 79 minutes of this encounter. Getafe took on Mallorca. Barbara Man was injured in this game. He started, was injured in the 19th minute before being replaced by Lomo Agbayeno. Quite interesting. The two Ghanaians replacing each other in the same squad. And Barbara Man, quite unfortunate. We hope this is nothing serious. We hope he recovers quickly and makes it back into the team. Atletico Bilbao took on Deportivo Alaves. Wakasu played 90 minutes for Deportivo Alaves as they lost 2-0 to Atletico Bilbao. In Italy, Udinese took on Brescia and Nicolas Opoku was an unused substitute as his side lost 1-0 to Brescia in the Italian Serie A. AC Milan took on Inter Milan in the Milan derby. Romelu Lukaku scored on that occasion. Kojo Asamoah's team beat AC Milan 2-0 and it was great to see him in action. He played a full 90 minutes on that occasion. Sassuolo took on Spau and Alfred Duncan after his assist last week followed it up with a goal in this encounter. It ended 3-0 for Alfred Duncan's Sassuolo and it was I'm happy for him that he is getting on the score sheet once again. He's been instrumental in Sassuolo season so far. Hopefully a call up to the next international friendly, which we quite don't know if Ghana will be taking part in one. Nothing has been announced just as yet. And the Black Stars are in a limbo, as is the football in this country in general. Atlanta took on Fiorentina and Kevin Prince Boateng was a 68th minute substitute. Frank Ribery got a goal first goal for Fiorentina it ended 2-2 for both teams France and Mets took on Amiens and Amiens beat Mets 1-0 John Boy played the full 90 minutes of this 
encounter. Hertha Berlin in Germany took on Paderborn 07. Chris Tofa Entry AJ played 63 minutes for Paderborn as they lost 2-1 to Hertha Berlin. Borussia Mönchengladbach took on Fortuna Düsseldorf and my oh my Kasim Adams got his first goal for his club Fortuna Düsseldorf. They played 90 minutes. He played 90 minutes of this encounter. Unfortunately, Bernard Tekbete, Kelvin Ofori and Nana Ampoma were all unused substitutes. I move to Turkey now and Kayseri Spore took on Desley Spore. Bernard Mensah played the full 90 minutes as his team drew 1-1. Yeni Malate Sport took on Galatasaray and Free Aqua played 90 minutes of this encounter. He suffered a yellow card, however, on this occasion. To Bulgaria and Botev Ratsta took on Donav Rus. Samuel Inkum played a full 90 minutes as his team drew blanks. 0 0, it ended there. To Belgium and Royal Antwerp took on Serke Bruges. For Serke Bruges, we have Godfred Dorsa. He came on in the 71st minute. His team lost 3-1 in the end. Fastland Beveren took on Royal Excel. And Thomas Japon was in action for Fastland Beveren. He came on as a 65th minute substitute. Gang took on Ostende. And Joseph Pinto was not in the squad as he wasn't in the squad in midweek in the Champions League. Couldn't make his Champions League debut. So that is it. Looking at the performances of Ghanaian players abroad, Alfred Duncan and Kasim Adams were all on target. And unfortunately, yesterday the Black Stars B could not secure a pivotal win against Burkina Faso. That would have seen them halfway there in terms of the Chan 2020 qualifying. They lost 1 0, but coach Maxwell Konedu is confident that they will be victorious in their return leg in Burkina Faso. Your thoughts are welcome. Who was your standout performer of the weekend? Let me know your thoughts. In the comments box to can the performances of black stars players abroad barcelona were on the end of some 2-0 beating by granada one of the shock results that happened over the weekend manchester city set a record beating watford 8-0 they scored five goals in 18 minutes and it was an amazing weekend for them kevin de bruyne the man of the show orchestrating everything good for manchester city your thoughts are welcome in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day have a great week and if you're in ghana enjoy the holiday bye